Welcome to my channel. I'm Shadow Scout Swede. I want to say welcome to my new supporters. You're very welcome. And I also want to say welcome to my returning supporters. You're very welcome as well. Today I want to talk about what I'm preparing for here in my area. First of all, I uh, prepare for a grid down situation uh, and we have a lot of uh, different plants who use uh, chemicals and we have chemical transports uh, just right through the city. So that is a problem if a major accident happens. Uh, and I prepare for even uh, natural disasters. What kind of natural disasters do we have here? Or what can happen here? Well, it is a difference between where you live. I uh, live in uh, the north. Uh, 550 kilometers uh, north of uh, Stockholm, so well, first of all, we have uh, uh, thunderstorms is number one. Uh, number two, we have snowstorms and uh, we usually have a uh, below zero here at winter time um, and at summertime we have uh, normally between 18 to 25 degrees but the last summer were a far above the normal uh, so we had a very, very hot and dry uh, summer here. And we have, uh, of course, hurricanes, which can be a problem if uh, the power lines blow down or something, or a tree blow down on them. So. The, so they cut the power for us um, and we have also earthquakes well I didn't know that we had earthquakes here in Sweden well earthquakes well here in Sweden no, until I got, until I moved up here, where I'm living now. Uh, and I believe it was 2010 in June. We had a um, earthquake here from... Um, Kolefdia, uh, Umeå, and Onkholsvik, where I'm living, uh, and they felt the earth earthquake. Uh, those who live five, ten minutes, five minutes from here with a car, and if you take the bike. 10 minutes. Uh, if you walk, it takes a little bit longer. Uh, they felt the earthquake and they said it, the whole house sh were shaking and the windows vibrated. So, but we didn't, I didn't feel it where I am. So that 
uh, was pretty interesting. So I heard about earthquakes here when I first moved up here. Because that is not what you expect, not in this country. Uh, and they expect that the earthquake here were on 4.1 on the Richter scale. So that was a pretty big one. But nobody gets, no, it, it did get uh, injured or so, or the buildings didn't take any damages either, so. But that is really interesting. And the reason for we have earthquakes here is because the uplift is so high here. Uh, the uplift is eight millimeter per year where I am living. So that is the reason, one of the reasons that we have earthquakes here. And we have also, of course, floodings as well, but they are not that, that is a small percentage here, but we have floodings here. It depends on where in the municipality you live. Uh, uh, so it depends on if you have uh, smaller streams and, uh, and things like that. But that is actually what I'm preparing for here. Uh, the earthquakes doesn't make too much damage up here anyway. So, but the hurricanes uh, and our thunderstorms and the chemical transports through the city is a problem. Um, and that is not good. And um, there is many uh, companies and industries here who use chemicals that are really not good if they uh, get a leak or something. So you never know what happens. So that is uh, what I'm preparing for most so i try to do my best to keep my family safe and i don't want to be in that situation that you don't have anything and when something happens you are screwed because you don't have food, water, uh, warmth. You don't have um, uh, any information and sleep. So I don't want to be in that situation. So I want to have, be sure that I have stuff and gear that makes me safe and so i know that i have food and water and everything like that so guys i'm just rambling on as usual and guys i have to jump off um and uh I will see you in the next one, guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. And don't forget to ring that bell. So you get notified when I upload new videos.
So guys, thanks for watching and your support. That means a lot to me. Okay? And I will see you guys in the next one. Shadow Scout Sweet out.